Boom. Mail day. We got a couple other things too that we got yesterday. I'll start by just showing those a little bit. So we got this from AUC RC. Um, check out his channel on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I won his contest basically. He did a little contest. This is actually made by Tinker Time. So also check out Tinker Time. He does a lot of 3D printing stuff and uh, I think he's working on vacuum forming for Lexan bodies. So that'll be super cool. Anyway, we're gonna do something really neat with this hopefully. And uh, all we gotta do is get a cab and we think that GNC RC is gonna hook us up with a cool older style, uh, maybe like Apache type truck, 3D printed Apache, Apache cab in black. And we'll just leave it raw. We'll leave it all raw, printed black. Um, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, huge shout out to AUCRC. Thanks for that. Uh, I was happy to be part of your little contest. We also got some more AliExpress specials, some more axles. Um, we already opened them up and made sure everything was moving nice and smooth. And it is. And we're gonna probably put these on the rock bouncer because I think it's still running stock axles. Um, we like the red, so we'll put them on the red rock bouncer probably. Uh, we'll have to put plus fours. Speaking of plus fours, I think that's what this is. Let's open her up. This is from Mr. Nick himself. We registered for his Bronco Crush video and picked up some CVDs and uh, also I always use more stickers. It's always good. And also we got this little guy. So this is a uh, voltage alarm reader tells us how many volts we've got in our battery actually do i have a battery here i think i do oh you know what this battery doesn't have a balance cable can we plug it in anyway there we go boom number one all 3.8 volts so that tells us how many volts we got uh, we're gonna use this for a couple different things we have one rig that doesn't uh doesn't have a low voltage sensor in the ESC. And then we also have a bump start for a nitro and the battery in there's a 3S to run the bump start, but uh, we have no idea how many volts are in there when we're doing it. So we don't want to run that too low and then ruin the battery. So here's the CVDs. I also got RCAWD CVDs that you've seen if you've been watching. Actually, we've got one right here already opened. So, these are the mofos. Now these are made out of spring steel. And like he says, not spring steen, spring steel, which is what they make swords and stuff out of. So it should flex a little before it breaks, whereas these will just snap. Oh, looks like we had a little extra turn. These are plus fours, so that's awesome. So looky there, that's quite a bit of extra turn radius. Probably gonna be limited by your uh, steering knuckles and stuff. I like it. And we'll just have to see how smooth they are. So on these ones, you can actually pull this little sleeve out. Oh, I don't want to lose our pin. But then you can pull the pin out, right? Here, I'll show you. And then you're able to see the actual ball joint, or whatever you want to call this, the CBD part of the CBD, I guess. Um, and you can see how thin that is. So I'm, that's a worry that it's going to be too thin and potentially be a breaking point. Whereas on these, we can't pull the pins out. Apparently they're pressed in, so you can't really pull them out. And so I can't see how thin or thick that piece is. Now it's interesting, it looks like there's actually another piece of material, look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Here, let's do this. So it looks like there's another little, you can see a little piece of metal right there. Sorry, my fingers are really dirty. I've been doing a bunch of stuff. Either way, there's that little piece of metal in there. Do you see that? And it looks like it puts a little bar back behind the pin. I wonder if that rotates and it keeps it tight as you're doing this. That pin, actually, does it turn? I can't tell. But it might keep it tight up against this pin so you don't get play, but it still gives you 
freedom of movement. That is a smart design, if that's what's happening there. And I bet it is. I feel a little bit of a little bit of clunk there. Don't know what's causing that, but overall it feels pretty smooth. And he did mention that because of the coating on them and stuff, you might feel it might feel a little rough. I can feel a little bit right there, but I mean, they still have way more turn radius. And uh, so you're probably never going to max these out anyway, more than likely. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be your steering knuckles and whatnot. All right, anyway, let's get on to the next one. This one is from A-Main. A-Main Hobbies. And that's because it was the absolute cheapest I could find it. Shipped to my door, taxes or no taxes, all inclusive. We got it for pretty much a good price. May not be new for many of you, but it's new for me. Bam. So we got this guy basically just to be able to compare because we don't have a Gladi length vehicle. And we just wanted to be able to compare the Deadbolt Betty to the C10 JLU Bronco and to the Gladiator. That way you can kind of see all three platforms and the differences between each platform as far as length's concerned or electronics. And we felt what better way to show people than to show people. So um, we're going to do a video with that coming up just so that some of the newer guys know what they're looking at. Somebody who's never bought one. And then we'll probably do some stuff. We have some uh, cool scale stuff that got sent to us. Stuff like this rack. We've got a video on this we'll show. Some net. we got some lights, a light bar. I don't know if the light bar's for this or for the... Um, Deadbolt. I can't remember. I think it's the 55 millimeter, so I think it's for the Deadbolt. Either way, we're excited. We will uh, share our adventures with this. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Be sure to hit the bell. Uh, comment below. Is there anything in particular you want to see? Maybe we'll pick it up and just kind of do a review on it for you if you want to if you want to see it, depending on what it is and how much it's going to cost us and how interested we are in it. Tell us what you want to see a review of, or a box opening of, and we will, um, yeah, maybe we'll do it. Thank you.